my brother right here. Who is that? Yeah, my brother. I got two of them right here. I'll come in real quick. Real quick. Y'all got, got nothing to do. I'm going to show y'all something real quick. I got a lot to do right now. My mama just passed like last Tuesday. So we're still my brother in grieving moments and stuff like that. Y'all going to buy and sell? Yes, sir. Listen, according to the Bible, on this day, we're not supposed to buy and sell according to the Bible. Right. Now, That's about your mother, you, when did she pass? Okay, okay. Oh, okay. I'm oh, sorry to hear that, bro. Now, to, to, to make sure that you're on the right path, we want to make sure that you know the laws of God. Because right. this is the only thing that's going to keep our community um, afloat. Right. Without these laws, we can't do nothing. And my sister, you too. So, my brother, you go to church? I want to keep up. Oh, like religion? Are you in a religion or anything? Yeah, I was a bachelor, kind of converting over to you know, Muslim and stuff like that. Okay, okay. Around, yeah. Okay, so you like a little bit into the Quran? A little bit. So what about the Bible? You don't read the Bible at all? Uh, certain things I do, yes. Yeah, well, that's what I want to ask you. What turns you off about the Bible? Um, hypocrites. Okay, exactly. I like that. I like that answer. Now, what, is there something that's going to confuse you or is it people that's the hypocrites? It's a people. People that's hypocrites because everybody says I'm a Christian, I do like this, do like that. But, okay, but if, so, the difference between a Christian and a disciple. Christian like boom, you go to church every day, then you are going to the club and shit exactly. like that. Speak my language. But now you're going to church on a Sunday to forgive for your sins on the one day. But yeah, other than that, yeah, I'm just uh it's just a new me, like I have no parents and no grandparents no more stuff, so I'm just uh doing my own thing. Bro, bro, listen, that, that that same spirit you got, that's that's a good spirit to have right there. You see the hypocrisy in the church and you and you don't want to be around it. These brothers had that same feeling. We still have it to this day. I'm going to read you something about this Bible, okay? Because go to uh, Leviticus 23 real quick, verse 2. We're going to get to a day that's, that the uh, Christian church does not celebrate, and it's in the Bible. They don't keep the law. Like you said, they're hypocrites. The book of Leviticus, chapter 23, in verse 2. Sorry, verse one. In verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. So the children of Israel, according to the Bible, are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So off the jump, the Most High is only dealing with that with those uh those people. The Bible is not for everybody. That's that's the amazing part because we're taught that God loves everybody, but that's not the case. Right. Keep going. And say unto them, say unto them, concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations. So we have certain feasts that the Lord gave us to be to be uh holy that's that we're supposed to celebrate, that our people are supposed to celebrate. Right. Keep going. Even these are my feasts. Keep going. Six days shall work be done. So six days the Lord gave us to work. Started from Sunday all the way to Friday. All right? Keep going. But the seventh day, but Saturday, is the Sabbath of rest and holy convocation. Ye shall do no work therein. So this day we're not supposed to be working uh, or buying or selling on this day or cooking or cleaning because that's in the Bible. But that's the thing that the church does not teach you. Like, like you said, they're hypocrites. Why is it in the Bible, but they're not doing it? But you know what's not in the Bible? Halloween that just passed. You know what's not in the Bible? Thanksgiving that's coming up. That's the murdering and slaughtering of your own brothers. Why would we celebrate that day? That doesn't make sense. And right after that, you got Christmas. That's, right. that's not in the Bible. Well, that's in the Bible to tell you not to celebrate Christmas. You celebrate Christmas? Jeremiah 10 real quick. I'm going to show you this, bro. This is all in the Bible. This, this is our answer right here. Right. We come back to the laws of God under under uh, the, 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 the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There's no such thing as the God of the whole world and everybody in it. God only loves the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. I'm going to get you Christmas real quick. Y'all listen. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 2. Thus saith the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen. God told our people not to learn the ways of the other nations. The other nations are given these, these Christmas and Thanksgivings and St. Patrick's Days. Keep going. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Keep going. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Go ahead. For the customs of the people are vain. The customs of the other nations are vain. They don't mean nothing to us. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. He said, for one cutteth a tree out of the forest. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. So they take that tree that they cut out the forest and they deck it with silver and gold. All right. Deck the halls. All right. Keep going. They fasten it with nails and with hammers. 
that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree. So this is what it's talking about. It's referring to Christmas. What's your, uh, what's your question, brother, real quick? I want to get you. Um, who wrote that book? The Lord. My the name is Joshua. Hey. Let's hey, go. Hey. Hold on. So who wrote the book, please? God wrote, wrote this book. book. Now, if you're talking about who, who wrote it with their hands and published it, that's the, that's the children of Israel. We're the ones that the, the God took the prophets and, and bestowed a message on them to write this. It's inspired by God, everything in it. Yes, sir. I do understand and get that. It's like this happened like years and years and years and years and stuff like that ago. How I think, how my brain works, like maybe things that kind of switched up. It's different, a lot of Bibles. You know, New King James Version and stuff. Right, right, right. So it's like different words and stuff. And I have to believe, I have to faith. Right. You know, I'm not going to say I'm religious because religion, that's what separates a lot of people because we worship different gods differently. I understand so it, yes, sir. That's how we separated ourselves. Right. Once we were all brothers under one God. Hold on, which, which brother are you talking about? You talking about everybody? Everybody, yeah. I mean, all of us right here, we may, you know, we worship a higher power. My bad, when you say everybody, you're talking about every race of people. Yes. No, no, that's, that's not in the Bible, though. That's nowhere. Even in any King James or any new verse, that's. Nowhere, there's nowhere in the Bible that says that God loves everybody. As a matter of fact, give me Malachi chapter one. I'm gonna show you that God doesn't love every nation. He doesn't. He doesn't. God is a jealous God. I'm sorry. Hey, right, right, right. Whatever. Look, God King is James was a molester. Okay, go ahead. God was a jealous God and right. like that. And I know. So yeah, worship him. Then when it comes to like Jesus Christ and stuff like that, but it's only one person, one higher power. Right. And so yeah, I have my faith and my belief, my own mindset of what I'm going to do. I'm not saying I don't believe, but everybody has some certain type of belief. So even when it comes, no offense, leading the devil, why? Because we manifest that to uh, blame somebody else, not our own selves and stuff like that. So a lot of people can't say, well, I don't believe in the devil, but they believe in God. So I can't love you. I see you guys every single day. Right, I don't right. know you, but I can love somebody I've never seen in my life. But again, I don't say I don't believe. So I love everybody, right. and that's just me. Let me ask you this though: When you yes, say you, you love God, are you talking about the God of the Bible, or are you just talking about some other God? That's what I want to know. God was in my heart, so you don't believe in the Bible, then, right? No, sir. Okay, that's, that's what it is, then. Okay, you know, it's being real. It's being I'm gonna show you. Yeah. I'm gonna show you where our faith comes from to believe in this Bible, because it seems like you don't believe in King, it's the King James Version, right? So you say faith also. This is where our faith comes from, because this book was written thousands of years ago. Right. That could be. That's accurate. So there's things in this Bible that were prophesied thousands of years ago that came and took place this day. I'm going to show you right now. Start at verse 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. It says, listen very closely, okay? But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto, unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So God said, if these children right here on this side, right. the children of Israel, the so-called right. blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right. do not listen to the law, statutes, and commandments, what's going to happen to us? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God said we're going to be a cursed people. Right. That was written thousands of years ago. So this is going to identify who, who was talking about. Go to verse 32 real quick. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. He said your sons and your daughters will be given unto another people. All right, it has to happen. Keep going. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Read that part again. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. All right, so my brother, it says your kids will be given unto another people. What nation of people were, were their children taken away and sold off into other lands, the other states and everything? Who did that happen to? Uh, at, a, at a crazy amount. Just, who did it happen to? It happened that over in Africa, black people. Black people, who else? Slavery is actually in the Bible. We started actual slavery. No, 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 I understand yes, that. We'll, we'll get there. I'm, I'm talking this. So it happened to us, right? Yes. All right, now give me verse Give me verse 68. So animals and dogs and stuff like that, we breed other dogs and stuff that we do the same thing. They have a lot of so just like we do. But it's okay for them. So all dogs go to heaven. Okay, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. Deuteronomy 5 and 6. So it says he's going to bring these children into Egypt again. Because remember, Moses brought them out of Egypt at the first time. So we're going to give you the definition of Egypt. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5 and verse 6. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. So bondage is synonymous with Egypt. It means the same thing. So when we hear Egypt, it's talking about slavery. 
Go back. This is real kick. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. He's going to bring us into captivity. Again, with ships. With ships. So it's being very specific on who he's talking about. That didn't happen to every other nation. So that's where our faith comes from. Right. Something that was written thousands of years ago that happened the same exact way. That's how we know that this, this God that we serve is the only true God. We're not talking about no other fantasy gods that can't do nothing. And Bring they're just that dumb. They're a bunch of stones or whatever. We serve the true and living God. Right. Keep going. Yeah. That's right. By the way, wherefore I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. He said we won't see our land again. We won't be able to go back to Jerusalem because who occupies our land now? The so-called white man being a fake Jew. He's not the real Jew. That was our position. Keep going. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. He said once we get to this land that we were taken captive to, we're going to be sold to our enemies. Right. So right there, God says we have enemies. As a people, we have enemies, so we can't all be one right. according to God. Keep going. For bond men and bond women. He said we're going to be slave men and slave women. That's what God is who saying. Is our enemy? Keep going. I'm going to show you who your enemy is. Go ahead. And no man shall buy you. Go, go to Malachi 1 real quick. I'm going to show you who our enemies are. I'm going to show you the main one. We got plenty of enemies, but I'm going to show you the main one so you can know that this Bible is real. It's not Let's them. go. It's who's them? We talk, who's them? Keep going. The book of Malachi, chapter 1 and verse 1. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. He said he's loved you, saith the Lord. Talking about the children of Israel. Right. Go ahead. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? So we're asking, show us how you loved us, Lord. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? So we had a brother, okay? His name was Esau. Right. Saith the Lord, yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau. He said he hated Esau. Now, if you're wondering who Esau is, Esau is the so-called white man, the Caucasian. Give me Obadiah. Let's go to Obadiah real quick. We're going to identify it so you can know that he is our enemy according to the Bible. But not just him. Every other nation that's not on this sign is our enemy according to the Lord God. Because what they'll do is, like for example, I showed you, we're not supposed to be buying and selling today. But who's, who has these stores open? We don't own these stores. All of the nations are the ones that keep these stores open to, to, to try to get us to buy, to break God's law. Right. Because right. they naturally hate God. That's right. right. Let's go. But why were you in the front of that? This is the book of Obadiah. The vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. You go to church this. Sometimes, don't go no more. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye. And let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. He's talking about the white man. Keep going. Thou art greatly despised. He said nobody can stand this man because what happens when, when, when the white man comes to any community, any nation, what happens? He takes over and perverts it. Anywhere he goes, he wants to make homosexuality the thing. He wants to make democracy the thing. Take away your customs and make you, make you like him. What happened over there in Afghanistan? Just now, we, they just left, and they was happy that they left. Why? Because they get their customers back now. Keep going. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. He said, the pride of your heart has deceived you, white man. Because the white man is the most prideful person out here. Keep going. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Dwellest where? In the clefts of the rock. Clefts of the rock. Who came from the caves? Hold on, hold on. I, 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 but just listen, listen to what I'm saying, bro. I'm reading something. Did he come from the caves? The white man, the Caucasian, the Caucasus of the South of Georgia, Russia. Right. That's that's facts, right? I just believe in, you know, like, all right, so you got a slave master, 12 slaves. We have to just come together. Why? Because we're so enslaved in our own mindset and stuff like that. I'm not blaming the white man for nothing. Oh, we're not, we're bro. We, 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 we out here for y'all. Yes, we are. That's why we, we, you see any white people out here? We're dealing with our people. That's We're right. not out here in a store pump yelling at the Bring white people. We don't do that. We could be doing that, but that doesn't benefit us. Yeah. We're out here trying to clean up our people. That's why we're out here in the worst parts. That's right. And I respect that. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, you know, we all have our different mindsets and stuff we believe in. And, and I, 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 say get, 58. I, I do understand the last part of the Bible the was Revelation. Revelation is talking about what's happening right now during the times of... You know, we all need to be together. So what's going to happen in Revelation? What's going to happen? Get uh, Revelation 13 and 10. So how many horses? 13, 9. How many horses are there back there? Yeah, my you, got, you got, you got famine. Uh, oh, bro, bro, let me ask you this. You, 
You just said you didn't believe in the Bible, though. But I read it. Well, but why? Why not? Belief is stronger than the truth. So I believe. But, you don't be, but believe is to, to actually take part and do things according to the Bible. If you say you believe, I would do the things in the Bible. Right. I'm going to give you some revelation like you said, though. The book of Revelations, chapter 13 and verse 9. There you go. If any man have an ear, let him hear. So listen, bro, if you can hear, you can hear this. All right, this is the Bible and Revelations like you stated. Go ahead. He that leadeth into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity. Shall go into captivity. Who led our people into captivity? Are you asking me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ourselves. Who? Ourselves. Hold on. They forced us all to come on this. Hold on. You, no, we didn't you, said, you said they. Who's the they? Oh. Um, all right, so can you answer this? Uh, bro, I asked you a question. Oh, hold oh. I asked you a question. You gonna skip past the answer my question, then ask me a question? But I, but I'm asking you a question, bro. Who led us into captivity? I don't know. Okay. You so, see this sign right here, bro? Who did that? No, no, you good, bro? It's it's not even like that. But who did this? We gotta we gotta be specific. We can't we can't act ignorant on this. Who led our people into captivity? Bring it out. What nation of people did that to us? England. England, which is who? I'm not gonna say that. What word. nation of people? I'm not what say that race word. of people did it? I'm not gonna put a race out. on it. Why are you not gonna say it? Did it happen? It happened. So why can't you say it? I'm not gonna put a race on it though. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.